Hey guys, welcome to .NET Techie. What's up? Let's learn something very interesting. This is called Vendor Management in Angular 5 along with the Wave API. Wave API means any RESTful service you can consume and do the vendor management. So let's see what I have for you. Go to my next slide. What all you will learn in this slide, how vendor management system works. Code walk through line by line and the next who can take the advantage students developers retailers if anybody wants the code just comment on my video I will provide you the code of my vendor management next thing what all I am gonna to give you uh, already I have given inventory management this is next vendor management next I will give order management and dashboard of the application with the very beautiful UI along with the charts and all the statics of the application so let's see this vendor management in action so here is my screen so here is my application where I have dashboard inventory management I have already shown you how you can add the items in inventory update delete and so all the items like this okay here is my vendor management screen so in the vendor management I have already one vendor let me add one vendor for you so this is third grade I can add one vendor over here let's say reliance is my vendor and reliance scope pvt limited okay yeah I will not take much time on these things yeah it's us. So, so my or Full purpose is so you how to the, do that. So it's uh, let's uh, Bangalore, India. Something I will type in other words. Accession and DL and contact number, contact number and landline number. Yeah. So here I have done, I will hit on the save and it should save my details for you. So that's how we can uh, basically save these things. Okay, so this is uh, how to add the vendor and this vendor has been added. I have navigated so that it has not on the mess. Let's say I would like to update this vendor information. So let's say it's Reliance 1 and it is, it should do my update. Oh, that has done update and it has shown me the beautiful message. Okay. Let's see what else I can achieve on this. I can delete this vendor at this moment. I'm not gonna to do so. This is the grid with sorting, searching, filtering, and which provide helps me to add the vendor, edit the vendor, and delete the vendor, and show me all the vendor in this grid. So this is what vendor management is. So if you are having any system, you are having some kind of inventory, you are a wholesaler or retailer, and you would like to add some vendor who will buy products from you. And once you have added the vendor, you can proceed for the order. So you can place the order online in the order management, which I will show you in the next section. Let's talk about the code. What is the code in the vendor management? Let me show you the HTML first. So here is my HTML. So it's a beautiful HTML for you. And what I have done, this particular thing, this particular thing basically what it is doing is I will show you in full screen. So this is having one grid which is having this on row select event. By that I am opening the pop up and doing the edit, update or delete whatever operation I want to do it. That's great. The grid is providing every facility. So this is how I have displayed the grid. You could just check all the columns and codes, what all the things are written over here. Yeah, that's about my grid. Okay, then I have this button code over here, which says add button. Okay, it shows add dialog if you would like to add new vendor. Else you click on the grid row and it will open you for the either update or delete that particular vendor. Okay. So till now I have covered these things. Okay, let's talk about this is the masses which we saw in the update where it has shown me the beautiful masses. Global masses for you. So this is how the prime and chief global masses can be used and this lifetime is 2 seconds. So after 2 seconds it will be lost. So what is the advantage of this message? It is not taking any space in your UI. So all the real estate is already left for you. 
and you can use real estate so masses come success or warning or uh, error and it goes away for you if it is so uh, error definitely i would like to make it on the screen okay thanks next part is this is the header this shows our pop up in the pop up we are having delete and save button so that's all about the html guys just note it down you just follow my uh, html and you could also achieve it if you are not able to achieve it definitely i am here to provide you the code so that's how the understanding is first i am having the grid in the grid bottom i am having the button where you can add the vendor and on the select on row select of the grid i am popping up the event and selecting that particular row which you can either edit and update let's see what is written in the component.ts okay i'm here okay so what all things are required http client http module component in it menu item forms module reactive forms validation we need to do masses select items and panel models all these things you need to import from the proper things this is selector app vendor and this is the template url over here and this is my style url over here okay now first of all i would like to contact with the wave api restful service so i am giving the url of restful service okay here i have written inventory management it should be a vendor management system okay i will correct it vendor management system okay so this is my vendor management and then I'm selecting new vendor over here. Then uh, whatever the selected vendor is there, I'm assigning into this. If you are adding new, then I am setting the flag to behave like uh, new. If it is a new vendor, you need to insert it, else you need to either update or delete it. Here is the masses which I am filling up. This is masses array. Okay, here is the constructor. In the constructor, since I have used the form, so uh, for that purpose, this is the form builder. And in order to consume the restful services, HTTP get, post, put, and delete. Here I have used this HTTP client, which I have imported over here. Guys, just look into this. Okay, so that's all. How you uh, hope you have understand this? On the ng init, I am binding the grid, so it is showing me list of all vendors. So how it is showing those the moment you land on the vendor management page it shows all the lists so that's what that code is doing over here it is going and it is giving me the array of the vendor by this api url i am subscribing this response assigning to this dot vendors if it is error i am showing the error over here if it is a success i've been just logging what all the vendors i have got it okay that's cool okay next thing is the moment you click on the add dialog button this is the code which says that okay dude this is new vendor you need to add it that means you need to do the <coughs> insert operation for this this is the save button which will decide whether it is a new vendor if it is a new vendor it will go and perform the post operation insert into the database so it calls one api that API it gives that metadata basically the vendor class and saves it. If it is an error, if it is uh, I'm subscribing that response in global response variable. If it is an error, it shows the error and push into the message. If it is a success, I'm doing this success message and binding up the grid data. Okay, if it is an <coughs> not a new vendor that means it should fall down to update so here http client dot put and i'm providing api then id i'm providing and what is the class which i would like to update that means what is the vendor we, we would like to update that's how what we are doing over here similar subscribe that particular service response so the error message and so the success message this is the proper way to call the http service okay here is the delete method if it is the delete it shows perform the delete operation in <coughs> basically uh, with the my restful service in the back end side i am using entity framework to do my operation on the row select the moment you click on the grid row it selects the rows and so you that particular row into the dialog box so that's the beauty you click on the row it will Take all the values from there and it will show into the popper. Okay, if you would like to clone the vendors, you can clone, do that. Find select an index which vendor has been selected. This is my interface. This is my vendor interface which is getting implemented by Prime Vendor. So, this is all about vendor management. Guys, 
so i have shown all the code you just follow my code and you too can achieve